Well, everyone, after I finish the top rides of each attraction at Walt Disney World theme parks, I think it's time to step up more. This time, I'm about to be sharing you the one of the best shows here at every Walt Disney World theme parks. Since the comparison in between from the great movies that I've already went to, to compare it into the shows that I have recently seen it before from decades or past from decades here of 12 years ago, this is the beginning of 2010. So at that point, I decided to start a new project here of how I will rank each shows here at every Walt Disney World theme parks. Some of the shows are definitely are amazing and fashion that they have bring things back to where they have from princesses to the room of the princess, or even some stuntacular motion here, just like Indiana Jones. So this time, I'm about to be sharing things one and only, the part of the shows that I really wanted to do here for the most. And for that point, it will be a very tough one to make a decision here after I think one of the shows are great. But it's tough though to make a decision. So let's have a look and see how I rank each shows at every Walt Disney World theme parks. Number 10, Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair. The only set of stage here in mornings at Disney's Magic Kingdom. This one used to be the only setup of the stage here in front of Cinderella Castle. After they took down a spiral staircase, they are putting a new setup of the stage here right in front of it. So far, how this turned out, well, the show really does hear things coming along right beneath the surface here, right by in front of a castle. If you could spot on your favorite characters, you'll see it fast. I know when I was in Tom Sawyer Island, I can hear fireworks in the distance. They're really that, just a bit of a loud in the distance here. But when you're close up nearby, you'll hear some fireworks popping near you. This really has to turn things out here in between. Because of this point, this really has to be tough though, right in between from the layer's edge. From the far side to close up, this really has to turn things out. And it may be tough though, that can definitely be a memorable one for the fun fair circuit. Yeah, I don't have anything else to go with that point. The reason why I listed in number 10 is we didn't get to see the show. So don't worry about that one here, okay? I think I'm just gonna have to like try to move things out of the way. So I have no information to say. But if you have another show here, here's another calling info right up ahead if you haven't seen us yet. This is for the daytime part of a show if you really like to catch up on to. So go ahead and give this one a try, especially kids. Number nine is the Harmonious Nighttime Spectacular, a specialty nighttime fireworks show here at Disney's Epcot. After the relocation here in between from the outside, they want something to put in the lagoon section to shoot the lighting fireworks, some water effects, and some lighting disputes here right from the barges in the lagoon section. Last time it was called the Reflections of Earth. This was definitely something uh, straight out of the canyon here of seeing the reflection of the nighttime spectacular here of the Earth. Yes, Earth is definitely the most iconic con here for the part in the middle of the section here. Bring out globes to the whole bright lights of the whole world wide and spread it across from the nation for itself. Yeah, I definitely remember this one here before. That was back in 2012 that we definitely did see the fireworks show. How amazing was that to see the reflection earth pop by? In between from the countries of the land and the showcase center. Yeah, no matter if you're in between from France, UK, or Canada, or even a right across to Mexico for sure. Or in between from Mexico to Canada. It's tough to be honored here if you would like to see it from the distance here. If not, maybe right here towards the world celebration, world nature, and world discovery. I'm not really sure which one you like to be here, but it's your honest point of choice. Make that one more positive than you think. And then the second thing is, they wanted to bring the future in, so they are calling for a new nighttime show. 
introducing the Harmonious Nighttime Spectacular. After the 50th anniversary here, part of bringing from October 1st, this one will definitely tell you things here for our new Nighttime Spectacular show. Yes, this is definitely the first thing that no one has ever seen before. And right now, there and there, it's tough though. This is amazing fireworks to have a huge lighting amount of displays. Colorful effects here of the screen barge and some incredible lighting effects, including the water fountains here with the jet streams that turn out to be the best. So yeah, I was never uh, complaining of what it's going to be look like. So at that point, I'll have to watch the harmonious here by the time I will come back to the park again. But if you have seen it, I think this one is a lucky credit for you. If not, another calling card has appeared. So yeah, definitely for sure. Just keep your eyes on that one here for sure. If you'd like to go check that one out. With that one harmonious, it's the bright light spectacular to have you and your whole group to check out the distance firework display here at the World Showcase Lagoon of Epcot. Number eight is the World of Animation, a nighttime show at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This one was definitely putting a screen display here from left to right of the Chinese theater. This one was definitely the best fit that I'd really like to see. No Fantasmic with the reopening of this date here since we haven't seen it reopen yet for the announcement. But this one was definitely the changeup I was definitely looking for. Well, if you know about this one, this is just because the only fact of the cinematic nighttime spectacular here showing you from the world of animation in between from the scenes of scenes. Here from classics to presents, this really has to turn things out here from uh, Walt Disney's animated classic to real time on Disney Plus here. Comparison in between from the reality of the TV movies of the show. It definitely has to turn things out here in between. Very good, very good. But I think this point, when you think about the dream that you would come up, it may be tough though, if you live in the past though, you would create something here of the, the Walt Disney's animated classic of the series. So if you live in the past, you would definitely know how you definitely did create one here. But thanks to Walt Disney himself of One Man's Dream, he finally made his own creation. And that is why he made Mickey Mouse. Yes, this one also has a documentary here at the Museum of One Man's Dream. If you go check it out here, right at the museum, here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, it's a must do for the document story here of Walt Disney himself. Yes, we definitely did enjoy this one here. That's your dreams come true. Let's be honest, I really like this one how it turned out to be a great spectacular show. Sometimes it definitely does turn out that whenever you need your nighttime spectacular of the firework disputes, it will be just the only thing that will display it from up from the roof here. There will be a little bit, but not a lot, because nothing else will display it in the mount of shooting it from the building to sky. That's definitely what it shows up, how this show definitely turns around. So with that one, if you have seen it, that's great. That's your lucky credit on your deal. So with the world of animation, this would definitely turns out to be a cinematics right on the Chinese theater display. Very good and cool. There's another one here at the Walt Disney's Art of Animation here, right across here of the hotel and resort. So you could definitely check that one out here on display if you'd like to go check it out. Number seven is the Disney Enchantment Wish. From the Dreams of Sky of the Fireworks Spectacular Show at Disney's Magic Kingdom. That was a newest, a spectacular moment here from Your Magic. And I am betting this one. This really does turn out to be the biggest firework display ever. But I really like to get a great view in between from Main Street to the Cinderella Castle. 
what you could definitely tell everything was lit up here in the main street here from this display of a color once the show has started and this one right here at the Cinderella Castle this one was definitely a great colorful display I'm really telling you great scenes this was amazing definitely telling you this one here in between and if you can spot here on the view from the Contemporary Resort you will definitely see it from the fireworks shooting out from the sky in display. Not the Polynesian Resort, because that will be a little hard to see if you could definitely spot on with the Cinderella Castle. But you could still see the firework in display if you definitely have a great shot to take pictures of here in from the angle. From the ferry boat station to the Magic Kingdom's boat station over there. That's really an interesting picture to get one. But going back from here, Disney Enchantment Wish is definitely turning out to be your magic moment. I feel like this was a newest nighttime spectacular show. Great footage of it in between from the fireworks sky display from the Cinderella Castle here, right on a great display at the mount. That's turning out big. And comparing it to the, the older ones here of the fireworks shows, since I just saw it first, and second sometimes. This really has to turn things out in between from the zones. So you have a Disney enchantment of the fireworks spectacular. I will say that this one definitely will be another bucket list if you have seen it before. So if you're in here for your night and you definitely wanted to see it again, don't worry. They'll be back here as soon for the new year. But first thing often, you will have to check out the firework of the display here of the holidays of the Mickey and Minnie's Enchanted of the Christmas Spectacular Show. It's going to be coming up here very soon here, so if you're on Christmas vacation or on a winter vacation here, have merry and bright, and you will be definitely seeing it displaying of the colorful displays, red, green, and white. That's a Christmas color for you. But Disney Enchantment Wish is definitely another show you must see. It is definitely a must do for a nighttime spectacular, even if you're still in the park. That's definitely one way that you'll definitely see your nighttime view of spectacular show. And you are magic. Number six is the Muppet Vision 3D. A 3D movie at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Comparing things in often after a film company named by Jim Henson TV Productions. This really has to turn things out. His one of the basic sets of a film has turned things in believing from himself. He knows himself how well he has definitely made. What if you combine with in between from Jim Henson's Muppets to Sesame Street here of the Children's Television Workshop. Well, that would be a great collab, but that won't cover here. They want Disney to bring their only movie here, so they decided to go with the Muppets instead. Going with the movie here from itself, this was definitely a good one. Great movie here. And I definitely think the Muppet vision of the 3D turned out to be just like anybody can definitely be. When this happens to be one of the sets of a live on stage here to the displays of the scene of the Broadway to the cinematics 3D screen. I'm seeing things, there's some a little uh, animatronics here popping up here by in between from band. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about this one here. This was, looks kind of a little like a, a movie film production over here. It might be turning things out where it might be after the pre-show into the uh, part of a movie set stage scene. I'm seeing things in good time moment out there, but things are starting to get a little weird. Because of this point, the darkness, however, this turned out to be, but no sign of Buddy, but I'm just saying somebody has run away. Well, I'm telling you this one here, why? <laughs> well, as the guy here from the cast have already has looking for a Buddy, he didn't really know where it was coming from. But all I notice here, the flashlight, he just found it. Yep, right there on your left. Well, so far, however, it really had turned out, that was like a little hard thing on the tell. 
and two of the guys here on the right. And also, you could definitely feel like there is a great characters to see. Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, and the other guys too as well. I'm seeing things, lots of great scenes in between. Yeah, definitely from the one of our franchise here of its show, The Muppets. But things starting to get a little bit rough. I'm going to tell you what happened. There was a bunch of the shooting things going on in between. From this gun, from right to left. Stop ruining things on the show. And then when you hear something going on, there is a biggest cannon that you would never see it coming. With that one, the cannon of the show from in display has caused to mess up the whole entire things in from the movie theater of the production. Well, everybody was okay, but let me tell you this. It was the make-believe one. I know nobody was hurt, but nobody should be injured at this point if this really happened in real life. So don't let that try to be back down if you see one. So I have nothing else to say about the Muppet Vision 3D, but this was very a great show. I mean, they could have some a lot of uh, great scenes in between if there is some a little in between near or miss elements here. I mean, that would be definitely a way out of wicket here in between. Near miss, I mean, it would be tough though if they would ever see it again. So Muppet Vision 3D has you covered here. Time to see the show. And maybe you might be the next one to go check it out. Yes, definitely true. 3D glasses are sure. It keeps it good, comfortable here. They love 3D glasses for sure. I definitely like seeing things in real 3D emotion. And definitely in the movie theater has one too. So suit up your 3D glasses if you really like one too. And so far, however, Muppet Vision 3D is here for you to have your showtime because we always need you if you really like to see it. Entering in number five is Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, the only comedy show at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Now here's the question for you. What would happen if you combined with Jack Carlo of Saturday Night Live and Jimmy Kimmel Live Show and, and you turn it into this? Well, there's another uh, good question to hear about this one, too. Another late night show also has to tell you things about a head. Introducing Mike Wazowski. Oh, that's just the only Monsters, Inc. guy I was ever looking for. But anyway, Monsters, Inc. has something lots of special here since some a little original films have definitely had a little different. They scare on children. That's because they have a little uh, different thing that they wanted to try to get over it. I mean, no joke. But here's one thing that comes up with the mind. You see, Mike Wazowski, he knows about things that he can definitely not roar at the same time. But here's another thing. He wants to make something with the audience to make a laugh out of it. And for children cracking up with their heads of their brain. Well, I'll tell you what this is. It's all about laughing that's right laughing that's definitely what everybody wants to do this is what he calls it the monsters inc laugh floor well i'm sure if you guys are just uh pursuing me don't blame me it never really caught on at that point he wants to bring everybody to the auditorium here for the addition here of the showroom yes that is totally correct and here's a good thing. Once after the pre-show is finished, you walk into the showroom right here from the stage of the comedy show. And here's a fun fact. They will point you on the cameras here on the board here on the TV screen. So if you see one popping up here on the board and the light triggers on you, you're definitely on the TV for sure. Definitely, definitely really cool. And I would have to say about this one, Whatever, if you're in the front, middle, or sometimes in the back row, they will definitely uh, trigger your cameras here on the light, so you don't have to worry about in between by those. I mean, don't be nervous. It will be fine. Definitely how it is. And here's one thing. Once Mike Wazowski says, hello, humans, guess what he tells us to do? Well, here's what we did. We all screamed. Like kids screaming with their heads off of it from the monsters. Hello, 
human! Okay, 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 fine. I'm not going to try to crack eggs up again. But going back to the show, this really has to crack everybody up here in between for the bad guy. I mean, this really is trying to make me feel like I'm cracked up again. Yeah, pretty funny. But this was definitely everybody's favorite to have a laugh moment in between. Well, I'm telling you this one here. Hello, humans. And reaction. And then we go back towards the stage. And then we see what was going on. In between from the best moments into not great moments. And maybe the story in telling. That's definitely the best thing that everybody really loves here so far. So Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is the funniest one. And I think you highly recommend you check this one out. It's very funny. It's really silly. And probably besides. Don't get too bored if you really are going to stay here to watch that one very lot long. If Mike Kuzowski wants to have you in the show, then the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is the best choice to have the show for you. And for the whole crew of people. On now to number four. And the next one on the list is Frozen's For the First Time Here Forever. A Frozen sing-along song at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yes, we're going back to Disney's Hollywood Studios for the second time. This is going to be another one that we're definitely going to share with you with this point of all the time. This is where we all call for Frozen sing-along song. After American Idol, they want to bring something together for kids and for the amazing chorus song here from ahead. So they want something to bring the momentum to life here and the document story here of Frozen since the first one has already came out. You see, only the one thing improvement that has told me before, they love singing, they like acting, and I'm gonna tell you this one here, they love princesses in between by those guys. From me, I always think of Kristoff, sometimes. But I don't like to be as Prince Han. No, not my guy I want to go for. But there's also Elsa and Anna, for sure. Olaf, <laughs> the snowman can always can definitely think of me when I feel like I'm smiling for heavens. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. When you first walk into the stage here, you'll greet with the snowflakes in the curtain and there's a bunch of great seats in between the front to the back row. I mean, your choice, or in the middle section of the row. And for that point, talking about a huge backstory, I think that was a great choice here. Very great. And the second thing that we always did talk about here before is the sing-along part of a version. I think we all want to help out with Elsa if she comes back. So with that point, they give us a little song in between from our great stories in between from the beginning to the end. First off we have is, do you want to build a snowman? Second we have is, let's open door. Then third, for the first time here forever. Fourth, Olaf singing in the summer. And fifth, let it go. Yeah, that's the one that brings things into the finale. Because of this point, this one definitely enjoys it the most time in the making. I like that one sing-along part because I definitely did remember this one watching Frozen. Once this turns out to be the best thing that everyone was singing here in middle school. And I think that why not I go back with this show that I just sing for? Because back in that time, uh, in between the grades of 6th and 7th grade, I mean, very tough enough to look at it. If that wasn't enough, they also have Frozen number 2, the second one. If they have some uh, songs here in between from the scenes. So, yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead. I have that one in the link in the description for you, just in case if you haven't seen Frozen 2. But if you have... That's a great lucky credit for you. Anyway, to talk about that one here, there is Elsa here. 
right as she appears. And that was a great, great help for all the people who have already sang along these words. And if you haven't seen that through, there's also a closed captioning if you don't know the words. Don't worry, they will always help you out, just in case. And on the screen displays from documentaries, I think that's pretty cool too. What a great backstory tell in between by those. And I'm guessing that it may be a lookout in between from the show to movie. A comparison from the sing-along parts. I mean, that was great. It made my heart feel so much better. Like I always sing along from the songs. Without going to American Idol, the Frozen sing-along song of the first time in forever is a must-do for everyone who really loves singing. That's the best choice in your list down. Oh, and one more thing on the other hand, this one also be the monster soundstage here next to this part of the theater in the stage. This one used to be the ABC Sound Studio, then Drew Carey's of Sounds Dangerous, and then with that one, they decided to go back with the, the ABC Sound Stage here from some amazing of a practical part of the sound effects they make. And finally, they stick up all the way around until the new set was released, a vacation trip of Mickey and Minnie's part of the clips here of the movie. Yes, it is true. Definitely thinking about Mickey and Minnie for sure and forever so far. If you have seen it, yes. I think you have a comparison in between from those two. From the old sets of Mickey and Minnie's to the modern series of the Mickey and Minnie's of the movie. It may be tough to be saying that this one's not that bad. Really like that one too. Yeah, definitely can tell that one here. From childhood to the young adults. I mean, they're going to definitely like the two when they remember back then. All right, let's head into the top three shows. Number three is the Indiana Jones Stuntacular, also at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're staying right here because this has some great shows from the backstory. Here's one thing about Indiana Jones that I really like so far. Since the movie was released here of the Indiana Jones and the Raiders of a Lost Ark, in between from the Tomb of Raiders, there may be a different choice ability that has always turned out to be a one-on-one -on -one spectacular stunt event that they really enjoyed. So far, in between three scenes, from the tomb underneath to the Sahara Desert, I mean, this was a very, very different role I have ever seen it before. And so far, this was a definitely the best, best scene ever. From going between from Spike from the, from the death trap and from a near miss element of the head chopper effect really turned out to be axe hitting towards you. And then from gold, I mean, wow, Teflon turned out things uh, right ahead to claim that one for as money. But things starting to get rough again. Once more, there was a lots of cracks and fire flame out. And then once you see something, the boulder comes in by. There's definitely a way that you could definitely try to duck through it or get out of the way. This never really happened here in real stage here at this point of time comparison to the movie. Well, it's definitely the tough ones to go in between by those sets on the scenes where you have seen it before from movie to show. And the second thing really happened, really caught on with the moment it realized that it does turn out from in between from the village. And the Sahara Desert here of the plane. Yes, we did see all three scenes. I mean, no joke. We definitely stayed here all long. And because of that point, this was amazing. Amazing show how it releases out. Special flame effects here in the background. I mean, wow. Definitely turned out to be wacky world ever. And talk about that one here in between. Best man ever of the Indiana Jones. And there is another choice that you could definitely try to compare it to. Waterworld. Waterworld is a little different. Not on land, but on water sets. From ice caps melted to the metal bars of the walls 
defended up here right along the edge here of the water in between. I know sometimes when I went to the Universal Studios Hollywood, I always remember things about Waterworld. They get you wet, but we stay dry going back up there in between. So yes, we definitely did enjoy that one here too. I mean, if you're from Florida, head over to California at Universal Studios Hollywood and try to compare it in between from the Waterworld to Indiana Jones Stuntacular of the Lost Ark. That might be a definite positive moves in between from movies to shows. I could definitely watch Indiana Jones anytime since the time is right. I think I will try watching it in between. If you love Indiana Jones, then this is a must do for watching the movie and compare for the show. Heading into number two is Mickey's Filler Magic. The filler magic of the 3D movie screen at Disney's Magic Kingdom. I really love enjoying playing the instruments here of my saxophone. Since becoming here to be the only person playing in the band here from freshman to senior year. But here's the thing. I went to Carnegie Hall, and this was definitely the biggest stage I've ever seen. Yes, definitely true. And by the time I already have went there, this was fantastic. Big scene, like in the New York of Carnegie Hall. But this one, I'm telling you this one here, one by one. Great shows you in between from the music that they have played here. Of course, the Fantasia and Fantasia 2000, for sure. Yes, definitely telling you things from back from past and from future here from present. Well, just present of the year. But I would say this was definitely amazing that everybody really loves. And here's the fun thing about Fantasmic. This one definitely does turn things out of a beautiful music background to display. And from Mickey's Filler Magic, this was a biggest, biggest band I've ever seen. From orchestra to percussions and to band ensembles. They're really definitely the biggest band I've ever seen since I played here just like that. Wow, instruments are all there. That's pretty amazing. Here are some scenes that have played here before, in between from first to last. First, there was Beauty and the Beast, Be Our Guest. Secondly, we have is the part of your world of the Little Mermaid. Then the Lion King of Just Can't Wait to Be King. Then the new Coco scene after the Lion King. And then Peter Pan of You Can Fly. And finally, the Aladdin of A Whole New World. And then it will go back into the scene here for the finale close this section of the filler magic show yes i think the coco scene and peter pan definitely say that one's the best because the last one here they want to just try to make it even more longer i really like to have this one longer too because that's the best part that we really love to see because at this point we love adding some new scenes in the background here part in between after a Lion King before Aladdin. Yes, that's a great story tell. So at that point, it really does turn out that filler magic was philastic. I'm sorry, did I get this thing right? Well, <laughs> no offense. But at that point, Mickey's filler magic definitely has a great scene in between. From the music of the band to amazing part of the wind ensemble and from the jazz ensemble, and most of all the cases, of course, the brass. Really has turned things on from in between from those features of those own. <laughs> yeah, I have definitely like that one in the mood here for the band. But this may be tough though to have a great look if you're in the band and if you have played here before with an instrument. You can still play it along if you want. But if you really like the filler magic of how this sound turned out incredible from Mickey's of this one of amazing uh, cartoon ever to the movie scenes of the animated series of the classic, this is definitely a choice to watch Fantasia 
and of course the Mickey's filler magic. So yes, you could definitely watch those if you want. And you must, must tell me which one's your favorite. Because I would love to hear from you back as soon as you can. So Mickey's filler magic. Philastic. And it must be a recommended for you if you're into the mood. This is definitely the best thing and you can never go wrong with. Filler magic. Oh, and don't mind Donald Duck. He always knows about that point. He's definitely doing things wrong. I don't know what to tell you about this one, but Mickey, without the band wand, I mean, you can't have it without him. Try to, like, have it at the right timing. I mean, just have it all, what you can get. Yeah, band wand is an exception. So that will play your cue right on this set of the stage. So with that one, fill our magic is the place to be. Have some great... Wind ensembles, percussionaries with a premiering of orchestra. That will be a great wind ensembles on the set. This is amazing to see this film. Finally, number one. This will all include for the top 10 shows at every Disney World theme parks. And that means we have a winner. This one goes to... Beauty and the Beast. I'm not kidding because this was the best part of a set I've always ever seen. Becoming from this point in between from the movie and the stage, this really has to turn things out in between the best action I've always seen. From character actors to amazing costumes of the dresses and the grooming suits, this really has turned things out one by one and character also on side on a stage here with Belle, Mrs. Potts and Chip, Candle, Clocksworth and of course the Beast which of course the groom can always be me for sure. I love this set how this turned out. This was the best show I've ever seen since 2010 was my first show that I ever seen here before. Well, we didn't go here in 2012 because the show was already started and we didn't even notice that it was already had just begun. Yeah, I'm telling you this one here because that really had proven things before. So we did end it off with Fantasmic at the later time. But for this point, however, for this show of the Beauty and the Beast, I mean, that was the best. This was great. Be our guest? I mean, this was amazing! The reason why I go with this show is because how dress was colorful and it's amazing to tell you that one in beneath the story. From in between, from the range of the groom and, of course, princess. Yes, prince and princess. You could definitely combine it in between. And I'm definitely going to tell you that why is because... This one also becomes of me being the prince. But why would I have to dare if I would be in the movie? <laughs> it really has to turn things on. Right in between if I look familiar. Sometimes I can definitely be also a one and only prince here from the fairy tale of the moment here from the royal queen, your highness. Well, I'm not really going to say this one. But this really has turned things up here. The best show I've ever seen. What a great show. And I'm definitely telling you, not without Kastan, the only me one who wants to try to marry Belle. Stay away from her. It's only me. Don't get in my, my attention I've always wanted to do. In that point, I have a lot of Worfy credits to say about this one. This one was the best. And to tell you about that one, thank you so much, Clocksworth and Candle. You guys are the best. I give you a thumbs up for you back. So this one was the best part of the show. And definitely, however, the ending of the scene turned out this. There it is. A beautiful makeup dress and the groom definitely turned out to be the best. This is like you're in Dancing in the Ballroom and definitely turning out to be in between for a tale that's old as time. For the ending of this part of the show. <laughs> this is the best. I love it. I love it so far. 
I don't know why I could definitely tell in between for me reacting like, this is the best. And, or I would say, this was a great show. I say this is the best because best means always the best action of the character actors and definitely how awesome it is. So yes, I love that show. This was the great thing I've ever seen before. So with that one, Beauty and the Beast definitely belongs with my only part of a top show ever here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And yes, and we totally forgot about that one. This was also beyond by its point in between from the range of the BR guests and definitely, of course, Tale of the Lost Time. Well, I'm definitely thinking about that one here. This also has to be the sing-along part here, the one at Epcot. I would love to bring Silver Spoon into this part of the show of the movie to show how it is, except he's a little bit bigger. Hmm, it might be tough though when you think. I'll be passing out if I'll have to try to like give it to somebody else. Maybe Tea Kettle for sure. Might be replacing from in between, from the comparison in between Mrs. Potts and Tea Kettle. Yeah, that would be a great story to have that one to tell. And sometimes for me, Son of Beast with Clover, I mean, would be a great choice. But not quite for me as also. That wouldn't make sense. So with that one, that really does turn things off to be the best show. Me and Clover for sure. That's for luck. Very lucky show to be having us here. So that is it for my top 10 shows at Disney World theme parks in between. If you like this one so far, then tell me which one's your favorite show. Do you like any actions? Which one's your favorite part of the show that you really like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And as until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the top 10 shows at every Walt Disney World theme park dial. This is Chris from Son of Beast, and you can find me on my social media on Instagram and TikTok. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment down here below if you have any recommendations that you want to give out to me, or something you would like to share about. So with that, thanks for joining us. I'll see you again next time. And stay tuned for the top 10 attractions comparison in between every Disney theme parks. I will have more discussion later on for the next coming weeks, before the new year. So with that, thanks for joining with us. See you all next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will. I'm not a kid here. Oh, uh, yeah. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. If we're going to do it, then let's do it. But of course, we must make her feel welcome.